Hey kids, welcome to a lesson 13, introduction to arrays, number nine, inserting items, array indexes. If you want to add elements in the middle of your array, you can use insert items to specify an index at which an item should be inserted. We have a little example here, insert item, we have the list it points to, the number it points to, or the position, and then what we actually want there, the item. Just like append items, insert items creates a new location in the array. However, insert items allows you to insert an item anywhere in the array, not just at the end. And it shifts all elements at or after its index one location over. Hmm. And for our purposes, we're going to think of one location over if you're looking at your computer screen to the right. We have a do this, read the documentation for insert item. Starter code has been provided, which appends some strings to an array, but right now they don't form a complete sentence. Use insert item to individually insert strings to your array to form a complete sentence. And then use console.log to confirm you've successfully created your sentence. We have a little example down here. Original sentence says, today I want to and with. Our final sentence should say, today I want to play soccer and basketball with my friends. Well, the first thing they want us to do is look at the documentation for insert items. So let's go ahead and just look over it. This is just saying what they said on the previous screen. It inserts items into the array into a specified position, though it moves it over one to the right. We have a couple of examples here and our old friend Fibonacci. Looks pretty interesting. I think I am ready to try this out. What we're really doing is taking our original array, which is sentence, that says today I want to end with, and we are going to create our final sentence that says today I want to play soccer and basketball with my friends. With problems like this, there are many approaches. To me, the easiest is to visualize it out. So let's take a look at these tables that I created here. Right now, it says, today I want to and with, and that's our original sentence. What we want to do is we want to create a sentence that looks like this. We're going to have to update it as we go along. So I'm taking this from here to over here. How are we going to do that? Well, we're going to use our new friend here, insert item. And we have to add some stuff. The list we want it to go to, the index spot, and the item. So our list is easy. We want it to go to sentence. Next we want to do is our position. And we want it to go from today I want to, and we want to put the word play in there. And play, if we go back and look here, is going to be at my fourth spot. And it's going to move and over. So I'm going to have to keep that in mind. So what I'm going to do is I am going to make number four play. This is going to become and, and then with is over there. That means the position we want to do is four. And what do we want to add to that? We want the word play. Don't forget your semicolons. That's my first one. What I did once, I have to rinse and repeat. So which array are we referencing? Sentence, what position are we doing? Well, going back to my little chart here, we want to put play what? Basketball. So I'm gonna move and with over, oops, too many over, And I want to put basketball now on number five. That means my five spot is now going to be basketball. Couple more to go. We want to play 
Well, actually, that should be, I'm sorry, not basketball. That should be soccer. So we'll have to change that there. The next one, though, is going to be on this one. We want it to be basketball on this one. So let's go back to our stuff here. So this is actually soccer. And what? Well, we want to do, we want to move with over here. And we want to put basketball into our number seven spot. So number seven is going to be basketball. Almost done. So this time we want to add my friends in here. The last two over. Looking back with, we can put number nine, my, so let's go back to our code here. This is going to be nine, my, and our last index here, which is going to sound weird, is going to be 10, but 10 is a perfectly acceptable index, just like a thousand or a million is. And this one is going to be my friends, exclamation point, and our semicolon. Now what should happen is the array sentence, today I want to end with, is going to display on my debug console down here. Then we're going to replace in these indexes the words play soccer basketball my friend. And then we're going to display that final sentence or a new sentence down in our debug console. Well, let's see if that's what happens. Let's hit run. Original sentence, today I want to end with. And a final sentence, today I want to play soccer and basketball with my friend. Today I want to play soccer and basketball with my friends. Looks pretty good to me. Looking back up here to do this, we read the documentation for insert items. Though I highly recommend you spend a little more time than I did. We looked at the starter code and we used insert item to individually insert strings into our array to form a complete sentence. And finally, we used a console.log to display it so we could see what happened. Pretty fun and definitely very interesting. I think that's all code.org wants from us. Let's see if they want anything else. No. Good job, kids. I'll see you on the next lesson.